this formula. Now cos A minus B minus cos A plus B. In this formula you see here. So it is a cos omega 1 tau minus of this one. If you apply integration, already we discussed integration of over a complete cycle is always 0. So you see integration of over a complete cycle is always 0. So you no need to consider this one means it is a 0. Now uh, it is a function of tau. You can apply integration with respect to dt. So t, we are going to get t, t by 2 minus of minus t by 2 to t. T, t gets cancelled. So there is no any t. This limit t times infinity is, is no need. Okay. Now, now you see the it is the autocorrelation of given function. Like that, you can see this problem also. Next, uh, whatever the cross correlation concept, this cross correlation concept already we discussed in the starting. Only thing is cross correlation means instead of considering same signal, instead of considering same signal, we are going to be considered two different signals, x1 of t, x2 of t. Entire concept is same. First, whatever we discussed the concept, that is same. So, cross correlation means two signals that is going to be represented with R1 to of tau. That is going to be represented with R1 to of tau. So, for energy, remember for energy, the interval is from minus infinity to plus infinity. For power, that interval is minus t naught by 2 to plus t naught by 2, 1 by t naught, limit t naught, t naught tends to infinity. That is the thing. So, everything is same. One more thing, whenever this uh, x1 of t, x2 of t, dt, integral minus infinity plus infinity, x1 of t, x2 of t, complex conjugate of dt is equal to 0, it means that these two are is said to be, uh, if x1 of t, x2 of t have some similarity, then the cost correlation function r12 of r12 of tau r12 of tau will be have some finite energy over the over the range of tau so we calculate r1 uh, this one r1 r12 of tau r12 of 0 it is going to be get 0 now the properties are also almost similar the cross correlation function uh, r12 of tau is equal to R21 of tau complex conjugate. Okay. Second one is if you calculate R12 of tau, R12 0, R12 is 0, a tau is equal to 0, it is equal to 0, then it is going to be, it is the we know it is nothing but orthogonal. Nothing but orthogonal concept. Whenever previously in the autocorrelation, when our tau is equal to 0, it may be energy or power, depends upon whether it is a periodic or non-periodic signal. Here it is a orthogonal. And again, here also there it, it there is a uh, formation of uh, Fourier transform. In this, whatever the previously x of f into x complex conjugate of f, that is going to be right x of f made of x of f whole square. Here we can write x1 of f separately, x2 of f complex conjugate for cross correlation. Okay. Now, the same formula we can also write for periodic. Uh, just before also I explained. Instead of uh, using that interval from minus infinity to plus infinity, we can use that interval is from minus t to plus t. Minus t to plus t, 1 by 2t, limit t tends to infinity. That is the difference between general signals and periodic signals. Okay, the remaining whatever the, these are all are same. Whatever the properties. Now, you see one problem on this, uh, that word, Energy spectral density. Energy spectral density. The energy spectral density or power spectral density. These words are important here. Energy spectral density means that interval, whatever the formula, we are going to be used from minus infinity to plus infinity. Power spectral density is that interval we are going to be used generally in uh, time domain. Instead of using, instead of using minus uh, infinity to plus infinity, we are going to be used uh, from minus t2 plus t or minus t0 by 2 plus t0 by 2. So, it is entirely Parsons theorem. We know already Parsons theorem. What is the Parsons theorem? How to calculate energy or power from frequency domain. 
so frequency domain means you need to obtain Fourier transform we need to obtain Fourier transform from that Fourier transform of we have autocorrelation function if you apply a Fourier transform from that Fourier transform if you calculate energy if you calculate the power nothing but energy spectral density or power spectral density so you see according to realized energy theorem or Parcel's theorem what is the energy formula in time domain e is equal to minus infinity plus infinity mind of x naught whole square dt is equal to then if you see in the frequency domain it is nothing but it is nothing but r of tau in the in your correlation concept this energy is nothing but r of tau r of tau r of tau at tau is equal to zero so the Fourier transform of this one uh, Fourier transform of this r of tau usually nothing but Fourier transform of r of tau is integral minus infinity infinity generally we are going to apply r of tau whatever the r of tau we have that is going to be right that is going to be right you see whenever if you apply r of tau for a transform integral minus infinity to infinity r of tau into e power minus j omega t into dt we are going to be right the formula so what is the r of tau we know the relation between convolution and correlation the convolution between the convolution between uh, original signal and time reversal signal. So if you apply for a transform of that one, if you apply for a transform of that one, convolution in time is multiplication in frequency. So one is a original signal, another one is a time reversal signal. So you will get there integral uh, one is a x of omega, another one is x compress conjugate of omega. So x of omega, x compress conjugate of omega, nothing but minus of x of omega whole square. Okay, so that is the main idea of this Fourier transform concept. Uh, so you can write here, it is already, we know this derivation, uh, uh, how it is going to be obtained, magnitude of x of t whole square, x of t one signal, another one is x of t complex conjugate. Now you substitute this uh, x of t formula, one by two pi integral minus infinity infinity, this x of omega into e power j omega t into d omega complex conjugate this derivation already partial theorem derivation already it is available in our Fourier transform concept you go through that one instead of using this omega instead of using this omega if you want to use this frequency if you want to use this frequency it is the formula it is the energy spectral density so the energy spectral density it is going to be represented with psi of f so psi of f is equal to Mind of x of f whole square. Psi of f is equal to mind of x of f whole square. So every time the Fourier transform pair is R of tau, Fourier transform is this psi of f. Psi of f means this mind of x of f whole square. Okay. So it is the energy obtained. See the formula. Energy obtained from frequency domain is integral minus infinity infinity psi of f f psi of f df. So what does it means? The area under the spectrum. Area under the spectrum is nothing but energy of the signal so area under the spectrum is from the frequency domain okay so you see the relation between energy spectral density to auto correlation you see once the formula what is the r of tau formula integral minus infinity infinity x of t into x complex conjugate of t minus tau into dt it is original signal it is going to be shifted whether it is delayed or advanced and complex conjugate now if you want to write x of t in terms of frequency Integral minus infinity infinity x of f e power j 2 f e power j 2 pi of t into df. Okay. Now you write integral minus infinity infinity x of t instead of this uh, integral minus infinity infinity x of f e power j wherever you have a t, t is going to be replaced with t minus tau and then whole complex conjugate. Whole complex conjugate. Now if you apply this complex conjugate, here it is a complex conjugate of x of f. Here it is a plus, we are going to get it is a minus, and then you separate these terms. If you separate these terms, here we are going to get e power minus j 2 pi of t to dt. Here it is e power j 2 pi of tau df. So again, we are going to be rearranging these equations. After rearranging these equations, you can get integral minus infinity infinity x complex conjugate of f. What is this one? It is nothing but for a transform of x of t. So it is right, x of f. Okay, it is right x of f well then uh, this is uh, r of tau integral minus infinity infinity you can write mind of x of f all square e power j 2 pi f tau d tau okay now these two you see 
R of tau is equal to, it is nothing but inverse Fourier transform of X of F whole square. By seeing this X of F whole square, if you write Psi of F, how it is? Inverse Fourier transform of Psi of F. Inverse Fourier transform of Psi of F is R of tau. R of tau Fourier transform is Psi of F. Okay, it is the Fourier transform pair. There is a Fourier transform pair between R of tau and Psi of F. Okay, so it is the one more important derivation he said. Now, you see one problem on this. Write down this problem. Determine autocorrelation function on energy spectral density. Determine the autocorrelation function on energy spectral density. x of t is equal to e power minus a t u of t. So, x of t is e power minus a t u of t. What is the autocorrelation function r of tau? You know the formula from minus infinity to plus infinity x of t x complex conjugate of t minus tau into dt. So, you substitute here r of tau. Uh, suppose it is a real valued, the real valued signal. The given signal there is no any complex. So, the formula instead of writing complex conjugate you can write similar. Okay, now as usual you substitute e power minus a t u of t. Here wherever we have a t, t is going to be replaced with t minus tau, u of t minus tau. Now, you know what is the limits of u of t, u of t minus tau. What is the u of t? u of t is 1. For time t, get that equal to 0. What is the limits for u of t minus tau? We have u of t minus tau is 1. t minus tau is get that equal to 0. t is get that equal to tau. But here we are representing the limits for t, not for tau. So t minus tau is greater than or equal to 0. t is greater than or equal to tau. So uh, we are representing tau limits. So tau, uh, you can write now, t is greater than or equal to tau means what? Limits are t. Uh, tau is the tau is starting from j, t onwards. Tau is starting from t onwards. Okay. Uh, t uh, for t limits. T starting starting limit is tau and t takes the uh, upper limit is infinity. So he has given clearly u of t is 1 for time t greater than or equal to 0. u of t minus tau is 1. t is greater than or equal to tau. So what is the minimum limit of t? Tau. What is the maximum limit of t? Infinity. So you, this u of t and u of t minus tau are going to be exist from t to infinity. So t to infinity e power minus a t e power minus a into uh, a, a into t minus tau into dt. You separate these terms and we are going to be integrated with respect to t. That, that's why um, is there any uh, is there any uh, uh, common you see here e power a tau e power minus 2 a tau and you can integrate this one and you substitute that limits. So like that we can calculate this autocorrelation function. So anyway, I'm going to stop this class. We join in the next class. It is about signal systems. Uh, all the best forever. Uh, excellent exams. I'm going to stop this class.